And Wall Street is rebounding on this first day of this first Monday of October after a brutal September that saw stocks fall roughly 10 percent. Not surprising then the economy is high on the minds of Ohio voters just over one month away now from the November election. News 5's John Cossett caught up with voters in Stark County, which is just one of Ohio's eight pivot counties. Yeah, Pivot County is one where voters voted twice for Barack Obama and then twice for Donald Trump, Stark being one of them. Here in Stark County, the economy very much front of mind. When Canton's William McKinley won the presidency in 1896, it was a victory fueled in part by the depression that occurred on the watch of his predecessor, Grover Cleveland, in 1893. Yes, even in the 1800s, pocketbook issues were as motivating a factor with voters as they are with the ones we spoke with today. Basically jobs and the economy. Definitely the economy is the number one issue for me. Number one for Hattie as well. Casualty of inflation for her? No fun. No. There's no fun. There's no money for fun. <laughs> Economy as it relates to energy will impact Eric's vote. I think that we have a lot of energy resources within our own country that that we can take advantage of that's being blocked. Susan puts the economy just behind abortion on her list as she researches her November choices. I want to make sure that we have good candidates, so I'm really reading through their qualifications. But several voters we spoke with in this pivot county wish their representatives in Washington had more of a pivot mentality to work with each other once in a while, not always against. The two party system, they, they're divided. You got the Republicans and, and uh, somewhere and the Democrats. We got to get somewhere in between. To me, it's almost like we need a third party, something, something that's more honest and can put out there some kind of belief to help the people. It isn't voting. Democrat or Republican. It's getting the right people in office that's going to make the change. Early voting starts here and across the state just next week. In Canton, John Kasich, News 5.